We continue our seminar, the Biblical Feasts of Israel, as key points in building relationship of God and man. Today's lesson is called Pesach. Last lesson we talked about Shabbat as a preparation of building relationship between God and man. We said that when man decides to separate a certain day a week for God, it means that he believes in God, it means that he believes God and that he needs God. But, but Shabbat is only a preparatory step in order to build the relationship with God. Today we're going to be talking about the first key point of building the relationship of God and man. Let's open the book of Leviticus 23 and read verse 4 and 5. These are the Lord's appointed festivals, the sacred assemblies you are to proclaim at their appointed times. The Lord's Passover begins at twilight on the 14th day of the first month. So, the first key point in building the relationship of God and man is Passover. This point starts at a certain time, at the month of Nisan, the first month according to the Jewish calendar, on the 14th of the month. Let's look at the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in Egypt, This month is to be for you the first month, the first month of your year. So, according to God's holy calendar, year starts with the month of Nisan. We know that different people celebrate their new year differently. Most of the peoples of the earth celebrate their new year from the 31st to the 1st of January. There is also Chinese New Year. We as Jews have invented our own New Year. We know it doesn't exist in the scripture. It's a man-invented uh, New Year. Really, it's called the Feast of Trumpets that is celebrated in the seventh month, on the, in the month of Tishrei. But we have our New Year according to the tradition. So we also see that God's New Year, Holy New Year, starts at the month of Nisan. That's the first month of God's Holy Calendar. Why? Because at that month, on the 14th of the month, the children of Israel, the people of Israel, received freedom of choice. God told them to command and commanded them to leave the slavery of free Egypt. Before that date, before that month, the children of Israel didn't have any freedom of choice. They were slaves of the Egyptians. They needed to worship the Egyptian gods to eat Egyptian food, to work hard in order to have good life amongst the Egyptians. They didn't have any other choice. At the month of Nisan, on the 14th of the month, through the blood of the lamb that was slaughtered and that they used the blood of the blood, its blood to cover the door frames of their houses, they got freedom from the Egyptian people and slavery. We know that, that the lamb was slaughtered in every home and it, it, the blood of the lamb was used in every family. And when the slaughtering angel was was going through the Egyptian homes, the, the Israeli families were spared. So at the result of the 10th plague, the people of Israel left the Egyptian slavery and got freedom. They got a, a choice of, of building their relationship with God and to fulfill God's will. What does it mean to us? To us it means that in the New Covenant, God sent His Son, Yeshua, the Lamb of God, so that He would bring this redeeming sacrifice on the cross. Let's look at John 1, verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus, Yeshua, coming toward Him and said, Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. So, the first month, according to God's calendar, on the 14th day of the month of Nisan, the redeeming sacrifice was brought of Yeshua. Yeshua shed His blood on the cross, and every person who receives that sacrifice as a redeeming sacrifice, every person who re repents of his own sins and receives Yeshua as his own Savior to follow God and to follow 
and to build the relationship with God, every person, every such person receives the, the freedom of choice. Before that, before we receive Yeshua as our own Messiah and the Savior, we don't have any freedom of choice. We live in sin and we continue living in sin. We don't have any other freedom of choice. But when we receive this redeeming sacrifice and repent of our own sins and decide to follow God, we have a freedom of choice. To follow God, to follow His ways, to start building relationship with Him or not. So, that's so important. This first feast is so important. This first step is so important in building our relationship with God. To receive Yeshua as our own Savior and to receive the repentance and to decide whether you want to follow God or not and build relationship with Him or not. This is how our relationship starts with God and man. May the Lord bless us on this journey, you and us. N next time we'll continue talking about this redeeming sacrifice and how to build our relationship with God the Father and His Son, Yeshua the Messiah. May the Lord bless you and us on this journey.